uh, with Romulus and Remus being uh, given suck by the she-wolf. Um, and of course, um, it, it celebrates Rome, uh, and it says here, um, how, how's, how are people's Latin? This is unusually in Latin. Um, I've tried it for you. <laughs> anyway, there it is. It's a celebration of Rome and, uh, and of Lutetia, which is the Roman name for Paris, which, ah, okay. which of course became part of the Roman Empire at the time right. of Julius Caesar. Right. 52 BC, Caesar conquered this part of yeah, France, honey, honey, honey. Gaul as he called it. Oh. Uh, and then the Gallic Wars, you read about uh, dividing Gaul into tres partes, into three parts. Mm -hmm. And Lucretia uh, is the Roman name of... And um, it um, it was a Roman city right through until what? the essentially the fall of the Roman Empire in the three four hundreds. I mean the traditional end of the Roman Empire is when four hundred and what is it seventy six I think that's the traditional end uh, when, when, when Rome ends and of course the city uh, did get itself uh, some a wonderful Roman amphitheatre uh, some fabulous baths which uh, we may see I'm not promising that but I mean that, that they are on the corner of um, Saint-Germain and um, Saint-Michel Boulevards, Roman bars which are still in large part um, you know, there. And um, Roman Paris had a population what, of about 6,000? It wasn't a big city, but um, it, you know, it was a, it was a significant um, provincial capital. London at that time was... was London at that time, I mean, probably Londinium was... We don't forget London was conquered by the Romans Londinium. too. Yeah. Londinium. Uh, London was conquered afterwards. I mean, uh, we we come under the Roman yoke, shall we call it, or is that oh, yeah. being? Yeah, uh, we come under the Romans uh, in 52 BC. England doesn't get conquered until the Claudian invasion, Claudius, 43 AD. So it's what later. about a century later that um, London gets Romanized, and certainly you know London was a Roman city, probably smaller than um, than Paris. The Romans had a wonderful uh, notion of public health. Uh, they realized that getting water from the river was not a good idea. Uh, they got an aqueduct which brought water, I think about you know, 20 kilometers, uh, from a freshwater source um, so that Paris, Paris had better health conditions in Roman times, I think, than at any other time until the 19th century. Wow. Which is wow. quite extraordinary. <laughs> quite extraordinary. So anyway, uh, where should we? Uh, I just like to sort of read a few extracts from different people. Will over here be okay? Yeah. Are there ones apart? If you will, though. Down this way. Down that. Um, this is the Cluny Museum. This is the Cluny Museum. That's the park down on the right side. Is there a park down there? There's a park down there. Sometimes it's closed. I see the gates. I believe open. Um, um, if it's open, then we'll go in. And that's where we'll see the uh, the Roman baths. Way off the side. Thank you.